Today is September the 24th, 2000 and, uh, 2019. I'm looking for Michael students. I'm looking for John Hopkins University students. I'm looking for high school students. I'm looking for students who want to be active in the community, who want to be active in different parts of activism, art and activism at MICA, John Hopkins social activism, American University, University of Baltimore Law, we want to do law and activism, all right? And this is what we're going to do, art and activism. We can do art in many different ways and many different forms. We don't need a million people in March. We need a million people to pay attention. In art, people pay attention to art. It transcends all levels, governments and ghettos. It transcends all nationalities. It transcends verbiage because art is interpreted through the eyes of the person. I do a lot of dumb stuff, so this is my trick or treat. Y'all talking about Trump? We talking about a shorty program, the self help organization for the redevelopment and reeducation of the young, using food to build better communities, to build better relationships, to build a better Baltimore. So this is what we gonna do. My art and my activism is the prison industry, mass incarceration. See that? That's notarized. I was making a documentary about Governor O'Malley. Y'all locked me up because I was making a documentary about Governor O'Malley, Scott Schellenberger, Judge Turnbull, and the corruption in the courts out in Baltimore County, the racism in Baltimore County. We're dealing with race and racism, and our public officials had full knowledge of this. Dutch Ruppersberger, Mikulski, Cardins, Elijah Cummings, yeah, Stanley Hoyer. I was making a documentary and I was feeding you. I was making a documentary because I've been in your houses. You feel me? That's Johnny Oleski. That's President Trump because President Trump is doing a reentry program. And this film and activism is going to be about a reentry. So it's going to be about second chance. Second chance for ex felons. Because President Trump asked for the investigation first. And I want everything. In the light of day. I wasn't sure when I started this. In 2007. It was about opioids and, and drugs. It was about the war on drugs. And how you give white people a pass. And you incarcerate black America. You let him go in his neighbor's house. Steal drugs. And he still got his job. I put a toilet in front of the Towson courthouse. Exposing the corruption and the racism in your courts. And you locked me up. I didn't commit no crime. I was making a movie, a documentary. And Gail King got this. This is what the documentary was, or is. Even uh, Ash Charles Randall, he was just starting out in Congress or whatever he is. And uh, it was this white guy in his uh, district or whatever. And he went to Harlem and bought some drugs from drug dealers down in Harlem and ran up on Capitol Hill and shook it in their face and said, look, this is the drugs coming out of Harlem. This is the drugs coming out of Mr. Wrangell's district. Dude, I did the same shit to you. We went downtown, I bought some drugs. I told you where I bought them from. Same place where the police hang out. Showed you, told you. That's why you destroyed that shit. That's why you can't come up with none of that shit because it was public knowledge. That's why I did it that way so it would be all public knowledge. That's why you didn't give me no witnesses and all that shit. Like I said, retry me again. That's all you got to do. We settle all this shit. You seen the letter from David Irwin? Retry me again. You got enough evidence that the Lake County Board has plenty of evidence. With that in my diary, and Judge Boris and Judge Foreman still on the bench, them motherfuckers need to lose their job. That's my mission, and it's not impossible. Because I'm going to put the book out, the movie out, everything going to get out. And it's going to show your inactions. I went from the city, county, state, federal, and the president. Now I'm going to go to the world court. And it's documented. Over this past year, I've done this. I got letters from Cardin, Rufus Burgers, Cummings. Nobody else want to answer or weigh in on this shit. But you're going to talk about Campos and Gonzalez. You better start talking about Shorty. This is the greatest story never told. 
But when you start reading that diary and reading this other shit, it's going to compel you to do something other than ignore me. Ignore me shows ignorance. Ignorance is part of the definition of nigga. So who the nigga now? Who the nigga now? Because that's Dutch Rufus Burger. These are the tapes. That's President Obama. That's President Trump. And that's Judge Cox. I am Dred Scott. Like I said, art and activism. And I'm using toilets for my art, but other other people can use other other way, other means. This is what you stole from me. Modern day slavery, Dred Scott decision. And this is the media that had this. Justin Burke had this at Starbucks. Because, like I said, I was shooting a movie at Starbucks. ABC2 had this long before I got locked up. A free shorty video. The stop snitching video. He holding it. That's a stop snitching video. It named y'all back in 2009, 2008. Free shorty. It was a snitching video and ABC2 had it. You feel me? Got you on film. This is what you destroyed. Yeah, y'all don't want to go play, but you want to incarcerate me. You want to lie on me. The media participated in this fraud and this cover-up, so I'm going to have the media held accountable. Justin Burke. Ain't nobody gonna slash your tires, but you didn't have a problem locking me up. You didn't have a problem making me homeless. You didn't have a problem telling lies. You got that. Justin Burke. Jane Miller. Barry Sims. What is two gonna do for me? Two showed me what they was gonna do for me. Two left me in jail. But they didn't keep the videotapes. I got the tapes, the originals. They're all mine. All right. So like I said, it's about art and activism. Trick or treat. I'm looking for people to join the shorty program. I already got the shorty program in effect, but I want to take it up a notch. <laughs> I need the Michael students to help me finish this movie. I need y'all to help me put this documentary together. Because I work for the Oreos. I work for the Ravens. I work for 85% of the richest people in the state. And my protest is protesting poop. That's my protest, protesting Donald Trump. Welcome to the shit show. I got a Community Verizon Award. So this ain't like I'm not this person. This documentary is about the prison industry. If we go to jail, we got to share that toilet. Inmates got to share that toilet. We wash our socks, drawers, keep our milk cold. A lot of different things that we do with that toilet that y'all don't do. But I got that camera. And that camera works for me just like it works for ABC too. <laughs> Donnie Moses had this. Seabird had this. TJ Smith got this. Johnny Oleski got this. Now that's the Ron Battle. The Ron Battle. Jake Davis. James Hammond. Dog. CNN News. All this is videotape. I got it all documented. You feel me? Miss Hazel. 
I got it all documented. And what I need now is a. What I need now is a mic of students to help me cut and edit and clip this. I need y'all to help me put this together so we can be the presentation. Art and activism 2020. We know to dismantle this master's house. We got to use the master's tools. And I got a camera and a blueprint.